Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm Heather. I finally got my fall FabFitFun box, my customized box. FabFitFun is a quarterly subscription box that is $49.95. If you want $10 off your first box, I'll put a code uh, below, a link below that you can get $10 off your first box, which is 20%. They have all kinds of, mostly lately is hair care, you know, makeup, face items, health and beauty. They do throw in some home stuff and also some workout things. We'll get into the box. Now you do get a customize if you're an annual subscription member. Those, uh, you get to pick, I think it's five items. If you're just a seasonal uh, person, you still get a pick. So you still get to pick, I believe it's three items. This is what whoop, this is what the inside looks like. They always send you some little coupons. So they sent a Bright Sellers coupon, Hello Fresh coupon, and like a Fab Fit Fun. Oh, so they did give me an extra fifteen dollars off of Fab Fit Fun for a friend. If you would like this, um, but comment below. First person that comments below, I'll give you fifteen dollars off. Now they do send a little magazine. So that has all the items. It'll have a breakdown of all of the items that you could have received, all your choices. So they do throw in three additional items that are a surprise. So they were a true surprise this year. Usually they'll throw in, um, you know, the three additional items and you can check on your screen on your website or through the app and you can see what they sent in. This time it said surprise and I think it said like $23 value. That was I think the average value if you averaged all the choices. Um, there were some that I really wanted, I was really excited about, and I didn't get them. So I was kind of bummed this season, but oh well, it's all, it's all good. Let's get started. So the first choice, you could have chosen the Stila set or the Foxy Bay wand, the Bopkier backpack or tote, also the um, other little black and white uh, canvas or I guess, I don't know, like a cotton bag or the copper canisters. And then I was torn between a couple things. Oh, and you also could have chosen styling cream and finishing cream by Sachawan, Sachawan. I chose the Foxy Bay curling wand. Yeah, can get you a now, I did use this today so I could show you what the curls look like. I haven't put any product in my hair, really. I just curled um, and kind of tousled it. I didn't use any hairspray or anything. So this is about the size of um, curl you get. It is hot, so um, be careful. I'll tell you the pros and cons that I had, um, that I, I kind of thought about it, but I'm happy with it. It says that it has um, great shine. It's made of tourmaline technology. It says because of that ceramic tourmaline that it helps um, retain moisture in your hair, has faster styling, a healthier hair because of the nanotechnology. I don't know how much of this is all true. Um, <laughs> and it's smooth finish, ease of use, and it does have the 360 so the cord will spin. So you're not gonna get caught up on anything. This is what the actual item looks like. Um, some of my pros uh, were, I love the size of it. It does heat up fairly quickly. Um, I like the color, the look, the feel of it. Here's the on off button here, if you can see. So there's the on off button. Now this on off button does, what happens is it does light up when you uh, turn it on and there isn't any indication on when it's ready. So I know that um, usually they're set to a certain temperature. That's my other con. You can't set the temperature on this. It is just a one and done. So you press, depress the button, it will light up. It doesn't change color when it's ready or anything. The other con is it doesn't have any feet here. So a lot of times they'll have like little, little knobs. So when you rest it on your counter, that it will stay put. Now, because of the way this is shaped, the actual heating element doesn't touch the counter much but it does tend to want to swivel and, and spin around on this part. So I would get something, um, one of those little mats that's for a curling wand. That way, um, it, they're kind of sticky. That way it'll stay put and you won't have to worry about it sliding around. That would be another con. 
overall, I really like it. Their retail value on the Foxy Bay 25 millimeter um, black and rose gold wand is $99. So even if you paid full price, which is 40, uh, 49 or 40, yeah, 49.99 for the box. This is a hundred dollar value. It's worth it. And and honestly, even if you um, buy another curling wand, they're usually worth it. I think it's a good a good product. I'm definitely gonna use it. We've got girls that will use it. So um, I really liked it. It was pretty quick. Uh, it curled my hair fairly quickly too. All right, so now to the second uh, choices. You could have chosen the yoga um, scarf with a pocket. Dr. Dennis Gross Serum. This was, I was torn on that one as well. The Erno Lazio mask, which has been in prior boxes. Now, a really popular one was this scarf again. I have a petite build, so I don't like to purchase anything that's made for one size fit at all. I usually look like I'm swimming in them. And then the last choice was the Celery Green Moisturizer from Volition Beauty. Now, I did get this Celery Green Cream. The retail value on this was $55. Here's what it looks like here. Now, from everything that I've researched, it looks like it's a really good moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid and peptides in it. it comes in a nice glass jar. And sorry it's so dark in here. Um, we've had it in, I don't know, it's a really dreary day. So it has a 12 month that it is good for 12 months after opening. I did open this up and smell it. It smells like a really, I mean, you just get that really fresh celery scent to it. It's not heavy on fragrances. It's a really light smell. The moisturizer said that it does purify. It helps minimize the appearance of pores and skin texture. Uh, it hydrates and visibly plumps and it helps reduce excess oil. Apply to face, neck and uh, decollete twice daily for external purposes only, blah, 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 approved for all skin types. Okay, I was looking for the ingredients list, but, oh, it's on the bottom. It says it is cruelty-free, it is made in the USA. Uh, the first ingredient is water, and then butylene glycol, glycerin, I'm not seeing it. it has celery seed extract higher up on the ingredient list. There is mica in this. Um, potassium sorbate citric acid. If you're sensitive to citric acid, it is one of the last ingredients in here, but just be um, aware, I guess. But I am looking forward to using this. I think this would be, I'm, I'm always looking for moisturizers because I use a ton. I gift a lot of them to my mom as well. So the next, the third choices were this um, Beauty uh, Bakery eyeshadow palette, which I actually have from a prior box. You could have chosen the um, the face masks. I did some research on those, and to me, what everything I saw was that these were very overpriced. There was a lot of people really liked this one. So this was the one a lot of people really liked. It was the shaving thing from, uh, it was called, oh, that was actually in the second choice. So I guess that could have been your second choice too. I didn't want that. So that shaver, I thought at first I was gonna get it. I thought it was similar to an epilady which I would love for like around my lips. Um, I'd rather pluck everything for some reason. I'm weird, I know. So I, I, I personally, I pluck them individually. So something like that would be much better because then it would be quicker. I haven't been able to find anybody that threads where I am um, that I really like. So I used to do threading and I don't any longer. But then I did some research and read that this is actually just like your husband's face shaver with all the little you know circle things and it shaves it. That's not really what I'm into. It's only one little circle. So, I mean, if you're doing your legs or something, you're gonna, it's gonna take you forever. So I chose not to get that one. That had a high price on it too. Uh, it was another choice for the second choice. That would have been a $59.99 value. If you got that, let me know if you like it. I didn't seem to think it would work for me personally, but it may be what something, somebody else is looking for. Now back to the third choices. So the third choices were the Beauty Bakery, Oh, the necklace, uh, this necklace, and it was from Jenny Bird. They also had a bracelet. So this was the cuff bracelet with the multi different colors. Uh, this was their necklace by Jenny Bird. Uh, then you had your beauty bakery, your face masks, and you could have received these blue light blocking glasses. 
As you can tell, I already wear glasses all the time. So the blue light uh, blocking glasses aren't really my thing. I did choose the Benny Bird necklace. And I'm not really big on necklaces, but I, I really didn't like, I almost chose that for them just to surprise me, but I figured they'd send me something ish like, and I wasn't gonna chance that one. And whoa, this is really knotted. So it comes like so. It looks like they have a little thing to protect the pendant. Now this pendant says that it is Hand form drop delicate hangs on a stamped high polished curb chain and is layered with a box chain. So this is what it looks like. I thought it was really pretty. I'm usually into wearing gold right now. My wedding ring is uh, platinum. So I can really, I guess wear silver a lot too. I don't know if I'm breaking any rules by wearing platinum and gold at the same time. Now it does come like so. So see this one side is a lot shorter than this side. Um, so I don't know how that's going to end up working. I'll show you what the length is here. You can change the length to be longer or shorter. If I can get, it does have a, a lobster claw on there for the closure, which is nice. We'll see if I can get this. And voila, I did. All right, so I don't know if you can see. I've got just kind of a bummy is super soft it's cashmere and i loved it i got tj maxx for super cheap now this is what it looks like so it hits me i have a very small neck i still think it hits me in a nice spot now that is the tightest closure on me but um so you could easily make it longer hits me perfectly right at my chest bone yeah i really like it. I like it. Okay, uh, I'm not even mad about this. Now this has the retail value of uh, $115. Now, I think some of you would probably agree with me that FabFitFun inflates some of the retail prices. I did look at the Jenny Bird website. They do have a lot of beautiful jewelry, but this necklace and the cuff bracelet are, I will see if it says, they're plated. They're plated jewelry. They're not, it's not like it's 100% silver or anything or, you know, sterling silver. This is a plated piece. The value I don't think is there to say it's $115 value. It is a nice piece of jewelry though. You could buy something like this maybe at Target. That would be nice. You'd still pay their $30, you know? So I would still buy this for maybe $25, $35. It's a beautiful piece. It would look really nice with the, you know, dress up anything too as well. Now for the fourth selection, you could have chosen the mason jar water bottle in a teal with a neoprene sleeve. You could have chosen the uh, Frank body, uh, body. Uh, it's like a coffee body scrub. That is, um, this has been in a prior box as well. You could have gotten the Anastasia um, brow gel I almost chose that and I did read some reviews, let me know if you got it, that it does tend to be a little crunchy on the brows. I already have really um, weird textured brows. They're very, very thick uh, and crunchy already, literally on their own. So I didn't want them any more crunchy than they are naturally. That's why I chose not to go with that choice. Uh, and then you could have got the Skin & Company Whipped uh, Cleansing Cream. I, I, I don't know why I didn't want that, but oh, it is, it's a polishing cream. I don't know, I wasn't all about that one. You could have also gotten the Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. Um, from all of my research, walnut in a, a facial exfoliant cleanser is really isn't good for your face. It really tears your face up. So I chose not to get that as well. I did choose, however, the mason jar, because um, I'm trying to use less plastic. My husband's been on a kick of less plastic as well. Um, he's even been buying, uh, instead of bottled water, he buys this um, canned water. Uh, I'll have to link it below. It's at Whole Foods, I believe, and I think he got his from Amazon. It's, I mean, it tastes amazing, but it's kind of, in my opinion, expensive, but um, he was tired of you know wasting so many plastic uh, single-use uh, bottles that instead he can recycle the cans now this is the mason jar mason tops is what the brand is i'll open this up and show you i was going to put some water in here and show you how it worked but that's 
kind of rushing around trying to get ready for this real quick. We've got, you know, as you probably saw before, we got our new puppy. So she has training class today. And then we are flipping a house right now. So I've got to get over there and get some things done on that as well. Now this is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, here's the top. It does screw off. Now what is great about this is it's really simple. There's not a lot of parts to it. There is a little teensy rubber seal in here uh, along this edge so that it doesn't spill. So when you do wash that, make sure that you wash that well. Those tend to um, be able to mold easily. If you want though, I think you can replace those. The top, you can easily put uh, whatever size straw you have. We have a bunch of those silicone straws, plastic straws, um, the plastic reusable straws. And uh, so you could easily fit one of those in there or just drink it on the go like that. Here's the top. What's so great is it is super easy to clean. Put it in the dishwasher, wash it by hand. My hand fits all the way in there so you don't have to worry about any nooks and crannies not getting washed. Here's the neoprene sleeve. Uh, it is great. I don't know if you can wash this. I mean, there's, you can wash it in, by hand and dry it, I'm sure. It's nice and squishy so you don't have to worry about this getting broken by dinging. It will also keep it from condensating all over your stuff. Uh, and it, it make it a little bit easier to, to grab a hold of. Here's the jar. Mine kind of came, it needs washed before you use it, obviously. Um, but this is what it would look like. And it does have, if you can see, I I can see, I don't know if you can tell there. It does have little markers so you can um, measure things. So if you're wanting to use this and make sure you you know how much you're drinking of water or whatever, you're using it to make a smoothie, or mix something in here and you need to know what your cups are, your ounces, you should be good with this. Now this value is $35. It is a 20 ounce mason jar. It does say to wash thoroughly. Um, oh, and it, okay, so it, it says you can't put this in the, it says it's not dishwasher safe. It says to wash by hand with soap and water. Uh, me personally, I'll be putting this in the dishwasher. Maybe not the top, and I mean, I might put it on the top rack. This I won't put in the dishwasher. It does say to hand wash it, so if it gets ruined, don't listen to me. I'm just just a person that has my own opinions on things, and I'm going to put it in the dishwasher because I'm quite frankly lazy and have a lot going on. Now the next choice, your fifth choice, fifth and last choice, if you're a seasonal member, was the sugar or the little scrubs exfoliant scrubs that we've had in the past then you could have received these little clips they're kind of cute but they're really not my style um i don't wear the clips like that in my hair and i don't have little ones like little girls that would then i did um debate over a couple things not this the cutlery set i'm not a person that would use that so i didn't choose it then there is the um the cuticle oil and the stress reliever for your hair. Now as a hair oil, I debated on those for quite some time, that hair uh, oil I did a lot of research on. The research I did find, a lot of it was saying, I don't know, that, that it's overpriced, that the products in it are really aren't good for putting on your scalp and that's what it's for. It's not for the actual ends of your hair. Um, so I just chose to play it safe. And I do, like I said, I work on flip houses. So I do a lot of painting, staining, sanding, you know, using heavy tool, you know, tools and, and my hands really take a, a, I don't know, they, they get ruined because of it. So I do get pedicures, but I usually don't get manicures because there's really no point the paint would come off my fingernails so quickly. It'd be a waste of my time and money. But I did choose the, the cuticle oil because I thought it really might help. Uh, and I read good things about it. It was in a, I think it was a, I read it to you. It's the NCLA So Rich Cuticle Oil in Horchata. So you can see uh, it's all plastic dropper with a glass jar. And it has a nice scent to it. It's not overpowering. From what I've read, you really don't do one drop for each fingernail. You kind of just drag it across and put it on your cuticles, then rub it in. I used this the other day. I found that it, it works nicely. It's nice and moisturizing for my cuticles. So this only has a retail value though, which is kind of crazy. Some of these items in this. So th this has a retail value, which is why I had a hard time choosing it, of $18. Whereas the hair oil 
had a retail value of $75. So I was kind of really pulled to wanting to buy or wanting to choose the hair oil because it had a $75 value, but why get something has it has a higher value just because it has a higher value? I'm not probably wouldn't use it as much. If you got it, let me know if you like it. Then comes the FabFitFun people's pick. So they pick for you. First choices that they could have picked for number six was a sponge gel, some crease release or the pumpkin spice pedicure set, which is right here. Uh, here's the sponge gel, and then here's the crease release. I wanted the sponge gel the least. I wanted the pumpkin spice the most. I got the crease release, so I can't complain too much. Uh, this is the crease release. I haven't got a chance to try it yet. I was gonna try it with whatever I wore, because usually my stuff is wrinkled, because I don't iron anything. But, so I will use this. But I will have to say that I prefer the scent of, what is it, the downy crease release? more than this. This is kind of, I don't know, it's just not my scent. I'll use it though. It's not horrible. It's, it says it's their classic scent. It's by Laundress. It has a retail value of $16. Um, I looked at the ingredients, the ingredient list on this. It just says that it's surface acting agent, um, deionized water, essential oils, and fragrance. So they're really, I don't know, they weren't forthcoming with their ingredients really because I don't understand what surface acting agent is. Uh, I don't think that's really an actual an ingredient. Uh, then the next choice. So the next choice for seven that they could have sent you was the perfect repair treatment for hair right here. I would have been okay with that. Then they could have sent you the height. This is a sleep mist. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do with it. You could have received the room spray and supposedly pumpkin spice, which I know that I don't think I've seen anybody receive, or you could have gotten the Sansa Noir. I received the Hythe Tranquility Sleep Mist. Now this one was retail valued at $22. It's three fluid ounces. I'm really not sure. So Hythe is what, Hythe is a new brand for FabFitFun. So it's their brand. So they purchased these items, have them repackaged. Under this, it is, if you read it, it is made in Korea, um, but it is distributed by FabFitFun only. So this is a FabFitFun brand, kind of like ish in those items. This is what the, the bottle looks like. I'll have to take a sniff of it. It says before bed, mist around your pillows and sheets to create a calming sleep environment. Hold eight to 10 inches away from your face and body to relax and soothe from the skin. So it's not a horrible scent. I don't think I would, sp I don't know if I'd spray this on my face. It makes me nervous. Anything that you can spray on your pillows um, and sheets, it makes me kind of nervous that I would spray it on my face. But this was my least one. That I really didn't want this. I really wanted either that hair stuff or I really wanted the room spray. I really wanted the room spray and pumpkin spice, but I don't think anybody got that. The last one. So the last choice that you could have received from FabFitFun as a surprise was choice eight, and you could have received a shower gel by, uh, by Beauty Papier, Papier, and it was in like a honey scent. You could have received the Ziggy and Maris pouch with a stripe, it's kind of like a sunglass shape, and then you could have received the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. I received, I really wanted the shower gel. I love shower gels. I did not receive a shower gel. Like a lot of y'all, I received the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. Now, I'm not gonna open this because I'm probably not gonna use it. This had a retail value of, of $19.99. It is cute. It's got a little smiley face on the side. It's uh, got a little milk jar, nourishing with coconut and argan oil. It is vegan, it has the bunny, the PETA cruelty-free bunny on there. It is in the color blind date. And it says to use on high bo uh, points on your face, your collar blown. Blend with your fingertips for natural radiance. Repeat for a more dramatic strobing effect. Shake it up before you use. Um, me approaching 40, shouldn't be using any type of, I use a highlighter, a, a, like a powder highlighter, just on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, other than that, I shouldn't be using any kind of shiny stuff on my face uh, because all it does is settle into my, my crow's feet or my creases or my pores. I do have larger pores. So then it just makes all those things look enhanced and I don't really wanna enhance any of the uh, large pores and my wrinkles more than they already are. So 
I do have uh, daughters, so one of them will probably receive this uh, in a gift because I'm not going to use it, so I'm not going to open it. Now that is all my items. If I would have paid full retail value, what they said MSRP was on all the all these items, instead of $50 that my box cost me, I would have paid $379 doll hairs uh, and 50 cents plus tax. So it isn't too bad of a deal. I'm happy with all my things that I received. Some of their picks I really wasn't happy about, but you'll have that. Let me know what you guys received. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Ring that bell so you know when I post more videos because I'll be getting my cause box soon. Margo Elena's coming soon and our bark box that I'll be unboxing probably with our uh, my lovely little helper son, Caden. He's got the long, beautiful, natural curly blonde locks and our new little puppy um, who's Connie Corso. Her name is Mac. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so it shares with everybody else. I think my favorite thing in here is probably the curling wand and my moisturizer. But like I said, 50 bucks. Those two things would have been more than $50 for me. So all these other things are extras and extra gifts that I can hand out throughout the year to um, my mom, my grandma, my kids. Uh, so it's a win-win really. Don't forget if you want to sign up for your first box, there's going to be a $10 off uh, link below. And I will also link my other boxes below as well. And then if you would like, um, I do have the one $15 off your first box. I don't think I would get anything for this, but you know, if you want $15 off your first box, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll send it to your email. I will be doing my next video. That is my add-ons and I have a mystery bundle. And thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Be kind, be nice.